here's the second location that we're needing to uh, to clean up. So it's one o'clock. So now hopefully I can get this done in five hours. This is about five hours. Oh, there's a ditch. A little creek from the pond. Oh, Papa Willie. So I was told this one has uh, bob wire and all that in it. So I guess I'm just going to scrape the top. If I have to come tomorrow and just kind of and get some of it just knocked out, then I'll do it. But that's what I'm trying to do. But I'd like to get done with it today. But oh shoot, see, so uh, get stuff broke. And what sucks is it's got a bunch of trees in it. I don't see how how it's got a bunch of trees in it unless it's been logged. So it's 2.07, so I've been working on this for about an hour. <clears throat> so I got some big old chunks that's kind of in my way, running over it and it's not giving me that straight clean finish or the scrape wide uh, for a scrape. So I got a big chunks, so I'm throwing them way over there. So I'm just trying to, because right here around the pond, it was really low. So I'm trying to build it up. But now it's gotten to the point where now I have to get out and actually pick up some of these because it's running out of room to start throwing now. I can, once I get all this cleaned up to an extent that I can come back and uh, scrape it and then start and then re, just kind of repile stuff up again and then clean it back up just so that way it'll be a lot smoother process. I think we got at least half of the pile done at least broke loose so I'm pushing a bunch of that stuff down and then pushing it out so I'll come down here and kind of clean this up I thought I seen that piece of metal I don't remember where that's at see I, I hit some over here so or at least halfway through that's a big wad it don't look like much but i'm in that hole little corner right here actually there's some more over there too but now we're just picking up chunks so i'm gonna go ahead and start throwing everything in a pile get some buckets it's really good for chicken house So yeah, not too bad.
got it done, which I done, it's done, but it's not. I gotta come back tomorrow for a few hours. I didn't want to, just because uh, I ain't got enough daylight to pick all these piles up. So, a bunch of piles. Most of this stuff is brush, and it's also a bunch of fence posts and wire and stuff, and then big old chunks of logs. So, before it gets too dark, I'll show you what we had or what I had got done so with what i had with dirt wise i done pretty good but there's a lot of low spots but it's best i could do with see stuff like this i mean i can't pick up every bit some piece bunch of big rocks so i tried to weed out everything but this is about as good as it's going to get So, this is done. Well, I got a little bit. I mean, I'm better off using my my machine because it just ain't got the hydraulics, and I think because everything's wet and cold. But it would grab stuff. I mean, I can put it in my bucket. So uh, I'm gonna just push this, I guess. I either have to come get it later, do something with it later. But it just uh, it just wasn't working. So because I uh, I told him I'd, I'd be done in an hour and. And then if I go back and forth, cause I'm having to drive from way over there to way over there to dump it. So it just ain't working. Well, just skated this across the uh, the road here. It worked out better than I thought it was gonna do. The problem I'm having is since it's barbed wire, it's got barbed wire in it, a bunch of rocks. I'm afraid it's gonna get wrapped up in my wheel sprockets so I'm trying to wedge it
come back and kind of clean up all this little stuff. Stumps, chunks. Once I get the big piles pushed around. If I can make them smaller piles, it'd be great. This is what sucks. This one's just brush and stumps. So uh, of course when you said you're going to be done in an hour and you got you got to be somewhere and do stuff so i had to grab my filters um it said fuel leakage code for a cat 
and these filters i'm not sure if it's the tanks that i've got on my truck but i will get my flashlight out it's got these i don't know sparkles or something in it let's see yeah all that stuff in there that's not supposed to be in there so i'm gonna try to take that off and uh because it is absolutely cold it's like 24 degrees so get it cleaned up so that way i can keep going so this is what's in the filter i mean it's thick Let's see if i can i do put uh, additives in it i wish i had it earlier but it looks almost like glitter and i'm thinking this is uh stuff in a tank like primer and and like paint stuff so that's what's in this one so i bet you you can actually see at the bottom right there with the you can see it so i'm gonna try this one and i would change the other one but i don't have any of my tools everything's in the 250 because i ain't had time to change it out so i did bring an extra filter so we're gonna try this put this back on and also i need some belts because uh you can see that and then that one so not good well that went a little unexpected uh when i have the key on it's supposed to prime and usually when you have uh, when you take these filters off they have uh fuel and what was odd was it just uh just stopped so uh, i actually called the cat i think it's gadston so i'm gonna go get a, a part i know these ain't cheap but i gotta have it so now i gotta push my job off but i'm actually before i take off and i've got daylight and time i'm actually going to go to the neighbors and grab the tractor again because i was pushing pretty good and it just completely cut out so i i mean everything was a rolling so i'm actually going to go grab the other one and if it takes me half a day i'll have to well i got most of it uh the hardest thing to do is I wish I'd have grabbed this bucket. I should have thought about it. But um, I just want to talk about this thing. It's pretty nice, but it ain't just ain't got the hydraulics to pick it up. But not only that, I did find use for the back. But <clears throat> when you go to grab something, he don't he don't get a big bite. So I was going to pick through it and just kind of rake it back with the back so i'm trying to get all of it cleaned up so i got that piece and i got a pile over there and then we got a few piles over there so i was getting a little small stuff so that way i can whittle down of what all i got to do so that way i ain't got big chunks but yep they're on down but this is a nice little tractor it's better than what i got right now since mine's broke they do have it uh the the fuel primer in stock so i'm having to i like to get the job done and then get paid so that way i can pay for the parts so getting close so down now down to my last bit i tried to pick that that thing is heavy i think it's a barrel but i got a big old stump and then you can see that little pile right right in there so it's big stuff so i should be able to grab all it in one go but i was hoping i can get this in there and in that stump in the back so but it don't have a claw i did use it i do like it but the controls are backwards so what you think you'd go out you go in and the curling and the up and down is different so but i'm good i'll get that sucker somewhere in here on the maybe the back side right here so that way it don't fall and hit something so and then try to get that stump well narrowing down to literally the last uh little bit i would say i have this absolutely 
field. I mean, every hole, front and back. <laughs> Let's get it. Very nice. So, <clears throat> you can tell what time it is. Uh, went and got something for my dad. I got the uh, the cat part, the primer pump, which is this thing right here. So. I wish I'd have known that. I heck, I got. I just put a brand new filter on it. So but that's it. <clears throat> so when I turned the uh, thing on, it didn't prime it. So usually when you take this line off the bottom that supplies it, <clears throat> usually pisses out fluid, and you have to put your hand over it to keep it plugged, but also put the filter on. So uh, I thought it was odd that it didn't. <clears throat> it didn't. Uh, it didn't uh, shoot out fluid, and then when I turned it on, so yay me.